everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. I am rethinking my design of my food box junk journal gift set idea. Junk journal going in here, little ephemera embellishment pocket going in there. As you can see, there is a dent in here because I grabbed it and I want to remove it because this flapperoony idea was, was ludicrous. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? No. Okay, it would make much more sense if instead of gluing it to the back deep in there like I did, if I actually made the flaps come out the top and the bottom and that would hold this piece stationary. So I'm going to tear this out. I'm going to, I'm just going to do it. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I, come on. Okay. Let's see. I'm sure I can do it. Okay. I already got half there. It's out. Okay. So I took this out. I got most of it out. Not bad. Still a little bit down in there, but you know, it is what it is at this point. We're just going to go with it. This one won't work because it's too short this way. So I need one that actually comes to the end. So I got to figure this out. So I grabbed myself another piece of scrapbook paper. I'm not that excited about, and I'm going to grab a piece of cardstock for reinforcement purposes. It has to be tall enough to go to the top and the bottom of this thing. Let me back up a little bit so you can even see what I'm doing here. So here's my little, this was my food box that I decorated inside and out. I'm not done with these edges yet. I'm not, I'm not in love with those. I will take them to a new level, but I need to get this center piece in. This is a craft with me. This is just kind of watching how I muddle through something. It's not smooth at this end. No, this is the bumpy ride. Um, so if you want to, you know, just come on along and, you know, craft with me or, or do something else while, you know, vacuum, I don't mind. Um, okay. So this is my scrapbook paper. It needs to be this height and actually about an inch or two longer on either side so I can create flaps. Okay, so let's just try and make this in my mind. Here's the, the decorated side, which you can barely see. Here's my paper. Let's just fold this in half. Okay. Now, is that wide enough? Yeah, it's gonna work. Okay. Um, there's only one piece of paper. Maybe I need to fold this in half give it a little extra structure and a little more feet out the back. Let's see what I got now. Okay, going in here. It's a little short. It's okay. Let's see how short it is. Um, Cause wait, wait, no, no, nothing is short because we're going to glue up and down and that's the long way. So I have plenty of time, time. What am I talking about? I have plenty of height. It needs to be this long, this long, plus a little bit like a, maybe an inch and an inch. So let's cut it here. Yeah. That's, that's feeling good. Okay, wait, let me migrate that to the north. I made a mark here. Okay, so I'm going to cut it. All right, let's hope that's the right spot. I'm thinking it is. Thinking everything seems solid at this point. I think the strategy is much better. We're going to put it in actuality and see if it really makes a difference. Is that, is that a word? Actuality? We're going to place it into actuality. Um, okay, here we go. I got to measure it again. I feel like I'm uh, uh, about an inch taller and an inch longer. So it's about right there. Okay. Now I'm going to lay this here, square it up on the old craft mat, which is so handy. I can see my little thingy, my little mark, and I'm about a quarter of an inch to the right of this line. So I'll go to a quarter of an inch right to the right of that line. Quarter of an inch. What, what, what line is it? That line. Okay. Quarter of an inch quarter of an inch. Why can't I see? I'm going to take out my contact. I, I, I know that sounds weird, but just in order to see close, I have to take my contact out. Okay. It's out. Now I can see. Okay. There we go. It's going to be, yeah, right there. Okay. That looks good. Do, do. No humming, Pam. No humming. Right. I don't want YouTube to get up mad at me like I'm singing a uh, copyrighted song or something. No humming. <laughs> no humming. Okay. All right. There we go. Now we have this. And this is about an inch or so longer on either side, which should be good. Right? It's going to go in like that. And then we're going to have to flare the feet. So exactly how much do we need to flare the feet? I'm talking about the feet like those little flaps that are going to be on either end. Here's the closest pencil I can get. Put this on here. 
I need to make a mark just inside of, okay, I'm going to make my marks. That's way too on the outside. That's, this is on the outside. I know that. So I have to be on the inside of that. So it has to be more like here and more like here because that's going to be the inside of the box. You get that? <laughs> okay. So the inside ones, and I guessed maybe a quarter of an inch, an eighth of an inch. It was a pot shot, but I did it. Let's glue this in now. We'll do the glue stick. And this doesn't have to be pretty or anything or exact. It just has to be secured. Okay. Okay. Get you in there. I hope that's the right spot. Hmm. Is that the right spot? Yeah, it feels pretty good. I feel exactly right. I tap it down a little bit more. There. Okay. And then this side. Just put a big X. There we go. And we have that. And now, with the deafness of high technology, I'm going to come in here and cut the feet. I'm going to cut the feet loose. All right. I don't know why it's so bumpy, probably because it's just the way it happened. All right. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Okay. Actually, let's just cut it from this side. It'll be easier. I can't see the lines then. Okay, we're going from this side. All right. Oh, what's going on? I think there's a bird on my window. Where are you? I hear you hopping around out there. It's on my screen making noise. Okay. Okay. How did I do? Did I cut? Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Here was good. Okay. So I'm going to, actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably use a ruler here. I'm going to do some angle cuts and just get rid of a little bit of excess of the buildup, that thickening area. It just needs to go away. There we go. Get rid of that. Yeah. Nope. Wrong place. I need to go to the, the, cent the, the narrower one. Not an easy word to say. Okay. The one that's more interior. Okay. The one that's more interior. There we go. Okay. Hope that's good. All right. And I did that just so, I don't know. I just felt like that needed to happen. Not sure if it really does, but we're going to find out. Okay. Now, I'm going to fold this back. I need a bone folder at this moment. This would be an opportune time for the bone folders that I have relocated. Nice, crisp little flapperoonies. Loving that, loving that. So these flapperoonies are going to go officially at the top and the bottom of this amazing creation from a food box and other stuff. And um, here we go. And all should be well. I think, I think the width is right, right? Or is it too wide? Oh, it might be too wide. So what can we do? We can, we can snip it down. Okay, so we've got to cut some off. It doesn't even technically have to go all the way to the very back, but you definitely want to be inside of the box. So let's measure it this way. So if I brought it like from a, a quarter an inch from the end inside, the line would be there. Okay, so that's what we do. We get rid of all that unnecessary yada yada. Let's just get rid of it. Oh boy, I hope I measured this right. This is a very, why am I using a dull blade? I can feel it's dull. It's not my friend, but I'm getting the job done. Getting that last usage out of it. Feeling good, retracting, and I'm out of there. Okay, one more flap to deal with. Okay, that doesn't look like it was straight. Okay, that looks straighter. All right, just go in here crisp up these little edges and when I put it together I should have my eye looking design so it looks like the capital letter I now now if I slide this in here it should magically fit it's not too wide 
Why does it seem too late? No, it's got to get stuck on something. What's going on? Oh, okay. It has to be the right width because I measured it. Okay, now. Do you think it's oh I didn't I didn't I didn't take it down far enough, maybe? I'm gonna go a little farther. I think I need to go a little further. Measuring was not accurate. It happens to the best of us. Sometimes we have to go back in and make a little adjustment. So we're gonna bring one edge up a little higher and see if we fit now. Okay, this should go in nice and easily. It should be buckling this thing. There should be no buckling. What is that flap? I need to glue that down. There's like a loose flap in there. See, I don't know if you can see it. See that? I've got like shoddy workmanship going on on the inside here. Who did this? Who constructed this? Sonny, were you playing with the papers when I wasn't looking? Am I getting any glue out of here? No. Uh, yeah, there's glue coming out. Okay. And we're oozing. All right. Now I can flap that down. That's what I was getting stuck on. Okay, that was the problem. It wasn't me. It was that. <laughs> okay. I'm just get stuck on that again. Okay. Go. Oh, so one on oh, there's one on top too that I'm getting stuck on. That's what the problem is. And does this go straight now? Let's see. Does it still need to be? I think I might need to shave a little more off. Doesn't look bad. Maybe a hair. Or maybe okay. We need to maybe pull this little skirt up a little bit. Just a hair. And then we'll do. Just a hair. We don't want any impingement. We want a straight, long eye. Letter I. There we go. There we go. You guys were going, oh, why didn't you do that in the beginning? We could totally see that. Would have been much better design. I need to glue this together. That is something that definitely needs to happen. All right, let's just glue this baby together and call her, call her done. Because she does not need to come apart. Okay, there we go. I got that all handled. Now we got one solid piece, which in all, okay, there's one, there's apparently a loose, there's a loose flap on this side too, which was not previously glued as planned. So we're going to get in there and glue it and just stick that flap up. So watch out for that interior flap if you're working with a food box. Okay, I got a piece of something. Oh, man, I got a piece of extra, that missing part. Oh, yep, yeah, just pull it all out. Just redesign the whole, go get a new food box, Pam. This is a, you know, no, no, no. We're going to rescue this. It's going to be okay. All right. Let's just go for size. Yeah, now we're good. Okay. So now all I have to do is glue these flaps down. See, see what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's nice, eh? I know, right? That was no big deal. We could get through that. Okay. Let's glue this down. Do, 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 do. No humming. Okie dokie. Glue, glue, glue. This is Fabrifix glue, clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. Just my favorite glue, not sponsored. Okay, there we go. Now go in there. No, not that way. Who, who wrote this? Who wrote the script? Okay, get it, make sure you're in. Oh. Okay, stretch. Are you too wide? Oh, maybe you're too wide, get it back out. Okay, I think I need to cut some of these flaps off. I gotta glue it together. Hey, right, I gotta do this. I gotta make this a little narrower. See that this is, now for those of you who measure beforehand, this is why you measure beforehand, so you don't have to do all this nonsense. But some of us who don't like to measure get to do this nonsense. I think the bottom one's gonna fit. I just feel like it is. Let's go in again. We're going in again. Do 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 no, no humming. Okay. Oh, oh, we're in. And are we too wide? No, we're not too wide. This is the wrong way. Pull it out. Put it in the right way. Okay. Which way's up? That way. Glue's gonna be so dry before I even get it in place. Okay. All right, here we go. Now things are, okay. Now, I'll get it straight. See, I'm trying to show you how easy this is. I don't think I'm succeeding in the how easy it is part. But that's not bad. That's not, okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, there's hope. Now, if you can't get down there with your fingers, you can use the bone folder to kind of glue those parts that you didn't get with the finger, you know, the finger tool, and then the extension bone folder tool. That's what that was. Okay. So, I guess it's not bad. You know, it could have been like maybe a little shorter, but not bad in the long run because it's going to be packed with stuff. So, it is loose on the back wall. That's okay, though. 
but we definitely have two separate denotable cubbies and this thing does not flop back and forth like that ridiculous design I created initially. So this is much better. Yeah, okay. And I could have done a little shorter so I don't have this. You know what I can do though? I can bow it a little bit there and that'll, that'll make it straighter. Uh, ish. We get the book in there and the, the other little pouch. It'll be just dandy. Okay, so um, what have you got, Pam? You've got this leftover paper and I thought where are we? We're already at 15 minutes. So it took me 15 minutes to redesign that thing. Yes, that thing. Okay. So I thought, okay, well with these corners, what we can do, it's such an easy little fix, but you can take a piece of paper, like your lovely cardstock paper, and we're just going to measure-ish how tall we need this. All right. To at least... I would say at least there. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to take that and we are going to cut four pieces. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to actually use paper. We're going to scrap the fabric idea. We're going to go to paper. And we're going to use paper to um, cover those little raw edges. That looks pretty good right there. Okay, so now I need at least four of them. Okay, so if I cut these in half, I'll have four pieces, but that's probably too wide. Well, let's just, let's just do it. Let's square it up so we do it square, which would be very advantageous at this moment. That looks pretty good right there. I think that's the middle for some reason. Probably not exactly because that's not right there. So maybe a little bit more that way. Okay, now we look like we're in the, I don't know. Is it? Who knows? It looks pretty good. Okay, we have four. And they should be the right... Did I measure the right way? I did. I measured the right way. Are these too wide? I think they're too wide. I think I'm going to have to trim them down. I think I'm going to trim them down a little skinnier. And I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to ink them. I'm not sure. I think I am. Look, at, they're not exactly the same size. Oh, imagine that. How did, how did that non-measuring technique work, Pam? really good okay so we're just going to take off everything that's we're going to go to this line this looks like a good line right here that's going to be the line of choice now they can't move when you're cutting because that would not be the line of choice then and you no know, you'd be some on some other line of non-choice okay don't move anything nobody see it moved okay it's close enough okay just sliver on sniver on over and there we go, cutting, cutting, retracting, pushing away, ending up with four pieces that are exactly the same size. Yay. Taking in one felt swoop. I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll try. I'm, I'm trying to fold them all at once, so I only have to fold once because I'm lazy. <laughs> Sometimes my laziness costs me more in time. Sometimes it's an advantage. It just depends. Okay, that's good. Use the bone folder. Come in here, Pam. Use your fancy tools. My bone folder and my Crocodile 2 Big Bite. My craft mat and my metal ruler. Probably some of my favorite tools. None of those are absolutely necessary in junk journal ing, but um, very fun and very, I don't know, it's just fun. Did I fold them right away? I can't say this paper is so pale. Oh, they're all, no, see, this one's backwards. Oh, good grief. Good griefus. Okay, we'll just figure it out here. This is, okay, we're going. This is good. No, everything's looking really good now. And I'm going to get the ink dauber thingy. Getting ink dauber thingy. Got it. That was fast. Okay, getting the ink. Vintage photo for those who need to know. And spritz to wake it up because I usually leave the cap off and walk away and go get snacks and then forget about it. Oh, I would really like to decoratively edge these. That would be pretty. <gasps> that would be so pretty. Okay, let me get a, what should I use? I'm gonna use this pinking thing. This is like a round scallop pinking shear. Let me show you. Come, come up close and personal. It's like um, a round scallop. It's not a round, it's a scallop. I'll just cut it and show you. Okay, let's fold it in half and trim. 
probably for fabric, but it really cuts paper well. And probably everything has to cut paper well in my world. Oh, that goofed it up there. Okay, so now we have that pretty little edge. I'm gonna do that for these as well. How did I get the ink on there? There's like ink splatter. Eh, we're going for it. We're going with it at this point. Okay, I've got two in here. Can I get three? We'll try. Is it the right way? Don't know. All right, we're gonna try. It's much faster now. We'll see if we can still cut it. I think so. This is pretty strong. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is so pretty. This is gonna be lovely. Maybe I don't want to ink it. Maybe I'll just have the contrast be the design. Let me see. Let me back away from the inker. Put the inker down. See, I don't ink everything. Those of you who think I, oh, I missed some. Here, you think I ink everything. I don't ink everything. But I do like inking, but not all the time. I have my off inking days. I'm just not feeling like inking. Not everything has to be brown, brownie, brown, brown. Um, that's good, that's good. Double checking here. Yep, everybody's looking good. And we are good to go. Okay, so now the idea is to put it on like, like this. So we have that. It's kind of cool, huh? Um, maybe I should ink it. What the heck? Let's ink it. I know it came all that way. You wanted me to ink it. I could feel it. I could feel it coming across. Now you're going to say, no, now that you're inking it, I've changed my mind. Go back to non-inking. Ah, too late. We're in. We're in with the Inkarama. We've inked. There. Oh, I like it inked. Now I'm good with the inking. Okay. Yeah, this is actually cool. So there's, um, as my, mo my dear mother always said, there's a thousand ways to slice a cat. Don't know why that was the thing. It just was. But that's right. You can look at any problem or predicament or quandary or what says this disaster going on here. Get in there and fix it. Um, and you can think of a million ways to fix it. That's basically what I was trying to say. So we are now in the process of fixing this. Because just because maybe we tried something, we're not that thrilled about it. I was like, you know, lukewarm, neutral, leaning a little bit like on the scale, like bad, good, like there. Yeah, that's where I was. Oops, look, I got, yeah, it happens. What do you want? No perfection here. We have little, you know, incidents and issues. We carry on. And I might even, I might even ink the spine. I might like the corner edge, but maybe I should wait till it's on. Probably. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I really like that. Okay. Yep, that's total that's a total go. Grab your Scotch Create glue stick or glue stick of choice or any glue. It really doesn't matter. Anything will work in this case. And just you you really want to get the edges on this baby down. I'm gluing all over my mat. It's a disaster. Yeah, don't do that, but I am okay. There we go. And put that in place. Oh, it's so pretty. It's just so, I don't know. It's just like, oh yeah, baby, that just sets that off, doesn't it? It's going to cover up a lot of that. I should probably went thinner. Too late now, though, because um, we have attached. I could pull it off and retract, but I, I'm actually okay with it. It's all right. Okay, now quickly inking these. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I've already inked those. I, this is the last one. I don't even remember inking those other two. It's all a blur. It's an inking blur. Inking sometimes just happens. You're not even thinking, you're inking. There we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's answer it down the spine. Okay. Get this. Get everything else out of the way. So sticky right here. I really should clean this up. I will. I'll clean it up after. <laughs> I have to because it's like really gooey. Um, just a bad crafter. Bad crafter. Okay, here we go. No, it's not bad crafting. It's just crafting with reckless, very reckless abandon. Messy crafting today. There, we have that so far. That's kind of cool. Turning it over. Just completing these babies. I need a wet nap or something. Do I have any of those? Yeah, there we go. You know, if your wet naps get dry, you can re-wet them. You just like squirt some water in, in here, like pour a little water in there and it, everything wakes back up. It's okay. Yeah. It'll be all right. It's only paper. Remember that. It's only paper. You're telling yourself that. Oh, I got to do that, that. I'll do it while it's on it. We'll see the comparison. Spine inking while on. Spine inking while off. 
Oh, I'll make sure you're all the way. Oh, I think I like it better off when I do it separately, like off the thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Okay, no, they're all good. It'll all go. It'll all, I'm going to do it off. I like it better. The way that it, it picks up the ink on the sharp edge a little bit better. A little bit better. And then we're going to apply our Scotch Create glue stick as we do. And again, this is not sponsored. I just like the glue. Find your own glue. Find your happy glue. Everybody's got different tastes. Don't eat the glue. I mean, you know, like choices, styles, requirements for their glue. Oh my goodness, people are so, you know, invested in their glues. This is the glue to use. We must use this glue. I guess I probably sound like that, right? Um, you're like, oh no, she's not going to talk about glue again. Okay, here we go. All right. There was a, yeah, there was, the box was a little bit caved in because let's just say this little mama bear couldn't wait to get her little gritty paws in there to get her granola bars. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so now we have this. This little guy looking kind of cute, right? Yeah. Okay. So I think we did really well here. We replaced this with the eye version as opposed to the one and the flappers in the back. Yeah. Don't do that. Do the eye, the capital letter I. It seems to work better. There's probably also other ways to do that, but there we go. That was mine. And now a word from our non-sponsor. Where are you fluffy pants? You go, are you back out in the living room again? Did you leave me? Yep, there you are, hiding on the pillows. I totally see your little black eyes and your black nose, and I'm coming for you. I'm grabbing my water on the way. Knowing that coming for a cuddle, it's, it's pup date time. Are you ready? Yeah, I, I think I'm ready. Okay. You don't look ready. No, I'm ready. Okay, you look like you just woke up. Okay, here we go. Here. <clears throat> okay. And now a word from our cub rep pup reporter here, Sunshine. Yes, hello everybody. Um, um, okay, so I would like to say that I'm feeling very small today. I'm barely, barely like a little wisp. You can barely notice me. I get underfoot and sometimes I get accidentally launched like a soccer ball across the floor because, not because mother doesn't love me, not because I'm a soccer ball, because I get underfoot. <laughs> you do, don't you? Yeah, but it's okay because I slide. Like, it's like this, like, whoosh. What was that? Was that sunshine? I was underfoot. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and I get launched. <laughs> okay, come back to us, sunshine. Come back to us. Okay, okay. Um, you're like, uh, you know, on the Apollo 13 mission, and you're like on the umbilical cord floating around on the uh, outside of the spaceship. <laughs> come back. Catch me. <laughs> no, okay, you're, you're fine. You're anchored. I got you. Okay. All right. So, yeah, um, so I, I, I was underfoot. <laughs> I slid. I, oh, I was launched, <laughs> then I slid, and I'm back. I'm back for more. <laughs> yes. So everything was fine. Yeah, it was all. It was all good. No big deal. It was I told I I was I, like I had no choice in the matter. But um, everything's just fine, everybody. <laughs> all right. So we will be more wary of when you are what underfoot. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thank you, son. All right. Back in the basket. Okay. <laughs> All right. Happy crafting, everybody. <laughs> okay. Thank you, son. You're such a sweetie. Oh, there you go. And um, there you go, folks. So this amazing creation, you can also create at, I feel, I feel the need to straighten this so I can feel like it's even. But I'm telling you, when that book goes in there and that little pouch goes in there, this is going to be dandy. You could also use this to store ephemera in if you wanted to. Um, just a cute little design. Uh, so, for those of you who don't know, or for those of you who are new and those of you who have been here a while, thank you for hanging out at the Paper Outpost. If you don't know, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. You get a free digital image emailed to you every month, checklist of supplies, note from the bookmaker, uh, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, and a page list of ideas on how to break a blank page, along with junk journal tips, updates from me, and new digi kits as they come out. The links are all down below in the description box. And um, what else? What else can you say? Um, 
My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts, which are audio, come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, new audio material. And then on the other days, there's new video podcasts uploaded onto Spotify and lots of other uh, audio platforms that you listen to your um, uh, podcasts on for the audio ones. And uh, all of them are audio if you just listen to it on an audio platform, I believe. Okay, so there you go. Uh, I have an Etsy shop where um, when I have them completed, I have journals and bundles and kits and fundles and all sorts of fun things. Uh, they're available um, when they're available. And then I have digi kits, and those are printable, downloadable images. There's five pages in each uh, digi kit, and you get multiple images that are themed and um, like birds, butterflies, dragonflies, things like that. Uh, Victorian styles, uh, etc. There's over 200 to pick from and if you love the idea of that but you don't have a printer or don't like to print, I will print them out for you. I offer a print and mail service. All you do is buy the print and mail service option and then give me a list of the 10 digikit names that you want. I only need the first two or three words um, or say surprise me or say I like birds and butterflies, something like that and I'll curate a nice collection for you. Uh, and send that list to pam at thepaperoutpost.com, my email address, or to Etsy message. Yeah, you don't need to buy the individual digi kits. Nope, nope, no, you don't. Nope. And there you go. I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies. You can, uh, I try and put them in there if I can find the links, and that does help my shop, but you do not pay more for the items for using my links. So thank you very much uh, for everybody who has used my links. And also I have a t-shirt shop if you like the phrase, create with reckless abandon, or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise. You can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zip hoodie, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. And um, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys like and make from these videos. Um, and remember most of all that fun can be as fun as a food box. And create with reckless abandon and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>